For all the debate about how the transfer market has changed in the wake of Virgil van Dijk's 75 meters move from Southampton to Liverpool, one core aspect of this will forever remain unchanged. Managers will say whatever suits them at any given time, and will spend whatever they feel they need, so long as the money is available. This is the ultimately the much plainer truth that the root of the by now tedious tit for tat between. Jose Mourinho and Jurgen Klopp. Although it is hardly limited to them, all top-level managers are ultimately responsible for more than a few instances of deep hypocrisy. Let's put it another way. Has any manager in history ever admitted that their club had a financial advantage when they so clearly had won? Has any manager in history ever refused to pay the price required for a player they really wanted? Out of concern for the rest of the market, transfers, 50 players that are out of contract in 2018, 50 show all transfers, 50 players that are out of contract in 2018, 150 at Alexis Sanchez after a failed deadline day move to Manchester City in the summer. The Chilean forward has refused to sign a contract with the London-based club and will have a host of top European sides after him in January or the summer. Getty Images 250th Mesut Ozil The German playmaker's protracted contract negotiations are well documented, and he will have a host of suitors should he fail to resign for the Gunners before the summer. Arsenal FC via Getty Images 350th Juan Mata The United playmaker is yet to renew his contract with the club. However, having started 13 games this season, it seems unlikely the Spaniard will be shown the door by Mourinho. AFP, Getty Images. 450th Luke Shaw following strong criticism from his own manager and pundits. After a series of long-term injuries, the former Saint looks set to leave Old Trafford after four seasons that has seen him make only 53. Appearances for United, Man UTD via Getty Images. 550th under Herrera Manchester United have a one-year option they can invoke in the Spaniards. Contract should they wish to extend his stay at Old Trafford. Nemanja Matic's arrival has limited the midfielder's opportunities with the majority of his appearances this season coming from the bench. Man UTD via Getty Images. 650th Jack Wilshire having struggled with injuries for years the Arsenal Academy graduate has played in Arsenal's previous four games. Undoubtedly talented, should the midfielder reject a proposed contract extension from the London club he will have plenty of Premier League sides eager to sign him at the end of the season. Arsenal FC via Getty Images. 750th Emre can heavily linked with a move to Juventus. The former Bayern Munich midfielder has been frustrated by Jurgen Klopp's rotation policy in a congested Liverpool midfield, and with the impending arrival of Naby Keita from Leipzig in the summer, sees his opportunities further diminishing. Liverpool FC via Getty Images. 8.50 It's Mauro and Fellaini struggling for game time in a United midfield consisting of Paul Pogba, Ander Herrera, and Nemanja Matic. The Belgian may be tempted to move in search of first-team opportunities. AFP, Getty Images. 950th Frank Ribery, the Champions League winner, now 34, has struggled with injury this season, and has understandably looked rusty upon his return to the Bayern starting 11. Bungart's, Getty Images. 1050th's Fernandino while the midfielder is out of contract next summer. It is believed that Guardiola is keen for the city hierarchy to offer the 32-year-old Brazilian a new contract. Getty Images. 1150th's Daily Blind having made only 13 appearances for Marino's side in all competitions this season. The versatile Dutchman has been linked with a move to Barcelona. Getty Images. 1250th's Ashley Young following his conversion to fullback by manager Jose Mourinho. The 32-year-old has scored twice and provided four assists with his dangerous delivery from out wide. 
teams in the Premier League will be keen to secure the former Aston Villa player's experience next term. Man UTD via Getty Images. 1350s Giorgio Chiellini at 33 The Italian centre-back is still a world-class player, and with less than a year on his contract, will surely be a bargain for whoever secures his services next summer. Getty Images. 1450s Zlatan Ibrahimovic undoubted class, but at 36. Whether the Swede represents value for money is another matter. With the striker one of the highest paid players in the Premier League. Getty Images. 1550s Fernando Torres the former Liverpool striker has had to settle for a place on the bench since his return to Atletico Madrid. Behind Antoine Griezmann and Kevin Gamero in the pecking order. A move away surely beckons for the 33-year-old. Getty Images. 1650s Aaron Lennon Former Spurs flyer Lennon has not been offered a new contract by current club Everton, but will certainly add Premier League know-how to promoted sides looking to avoid relegation next season. Getty Images. 1750s Sorry and Robin Barnes Other veteran winger has also had an injury-stricken season in Bavaria though has still managed to score three and assist four in all competitions. The Dutchman is certainly still a threat when fully fit. Bungart's Getty Images, 1850s Eker Casillas having won the Champions League three times. Casillas is certainly a high-quality goalkeeper. Could the Spanish veteran be a good signing for a top European club? AFP, Getty Images. 1950s Ross Barkley yet to make an appearance for Everton this term. The attacking midfielder, previously unwanted by former manager Ronald Koeman could be thrown a lifeline by recently appointed Sam Allardyce. If however the Evertonian sees his future elsewhere, he will be a good pick for top sides in the Premier League. Getty Images 2050th Santi Cazorla blighted by serious injuries to his Achilles and having had surgery nine times in 14 months, the diminutive midfielder will hope to regain his fitness to restart his career. Arsenal FC via Getty Images. 2150th Bernard the Pacey winger has enjoyed a four-year spell in Ukraine with Shakhtar Donetsk, though in not signing a new contract may have his heart set on playing in one of Europe's top five leagues. AFP, Getty Images. 2250s Mario Balotelli The enigmatic Italian striker has reignited his stop-start career in Nice. With 33 goals in 49 appearances for the French side. AFP, Getty Images. 2350s Hatim Ben Arfatelant in abundance though lacking work rate. Teams interested in the attacker will hope they can see the player find the form he displayed at OGC Nice, scoring 18 goals and assisting 7 in 2015-16. AFP, Getty Images. 24-50th Ezekiel Avezzi the stocky Argentine forward has been on fire this season in the Chinese Super League, scoring 20 goals and assisting 19 in 27 games. A return to Europe is surely on the cards for the former Napoli man. AFP, Getty Images. 2550th Joel Robles displaced from the Everton starting lineup by 30 meters summer arrival Jordan Pickford. The Spaniard will be eager to guarantee himself more game time should next year. Getty Images. 2650th Juan Fran the Atletico Madrid legend. Now 32 is under increasing competition from Croatian fullback Sime Versalco and could be tempted by move before retirement. Getty Images. 2750th Samin Yunus the Ajax forward, currently sidelined with a serious knee injury, had an excellent season in 2016-17 and was rewarded with his first Germany cap by the Joachim Lowe in June this year. AFP. Getty Images. 2850s Andre Pierre Gignac, the French target man, has enjoyed the most prolific spell of his career with Mexican side Tigres UANL. 
scoring a goal in every two games in all competitions. Proven in League One with Marseille, the striker is capable of succeeding in Europe. AFP, Getty Images. 29.50 It's Johan Caballé capable of dictating games at the top level. The Frenchman could surely be a wild card for a top side in the Premier League next season. Getty Images. 30.50 It's Joao Moutinho winner of League One with his Monaco last year. The 31-year-old midfielder is into the final year of his contract. AFP, Getty Images. 31.50's Leon Goretzka the box-to-box -box midfielder has had an excellent start to the season. Scoring four goals from central midfield for Schalke, the German international has been linked with moves to top European sides Barcelona and Juventus. Bungart's Getty Images. 32.50's Carlos Vela the Mexican wideman has found goals hard to come by this season. Scoring just once this season for Real Sociedad. AFP, Getty Images. 33.50 it's Yaya Torre after years of speculation that Torre would leave Manchester City. The Ivorian's time at City finally seems to coming to an end. Getty Images. 34.50 it's Stefan de Vry Liverpool have been linked to the Netherlands International in recent weeks as Jurgen Klopp seeks to add quality to his defense. Getty Images. 35.50th Nevin Subodic the Bundesliga winner has made only four appearances this season, often failing to even make the bench for Dortmund. Getty Images. 36.50th Max Meyer the 22-year-old playmaker Meyer has been consistently linked with Liverpool. Tottenham in Barcelona and has so far refused any contract offers made by Schalke. Bungart's Getty Images. 37.50th Donny Garcia the Spanish midfielder has been a mainstay for SD Eber over the past three seasons, offering a goal threat from midfield with his long-distance shooting and set-piece ability. Garcia could prove a shrewd acquisition. Getty Images. 38.50th Sakraf Hakimi the Moroccan fullback has deputized well for Donny Carvajal in La Liga this season, and has shown glimpses of his potential at the Bermabu. AFP, Getty Images. 39.50th Stefan Licksteiner disappointing performances for the Bianconeri this season, and added competition from Mattia de Sciglio have led to rumors that the Swiss defender could be Set to leave Turin in January. Getty Images. 4050th's Diego Reyes, the 25 year old defender, has guided FC Porto to the top of the Primera Liga, conceding only six goals in the process. AFP. Getty Images. 4150th CN Zunal, still only 20. The Turkish forward has seen his career stall since moving to Spain from Manchester City. Should the striker fail to sign a new contract with Villarreal, a move back to the Eredivisie could prove fruitful for a striker with vast potential. Getty Images. 42.50th Rafinha The experienced Brazilian right-back is entering the last year of his contract with Bayern Munich, capable of deputizing at the top level, and with invaluable experience in the Champions League. The 32-year-old could provide excellent cover for an elite European side next season. Bungart's Getty Images. 43.50 50th Ivan Marcano the Porto centre-back, also capable of playing left-back, has been the subject of interest from Everton following a number of impressive displays for the Iberian club. AFP, Getty Images. 44.50 It's Joao Miranda Former Atletico Madrid star Miranda has started all but one league game for Inter Milan this term helping his side keep eight clean sheets so far. Should he fail to renew his contract with the Nerazzeri, he will be a top acquisition for any side. Getty Images. 45.50 It's Kepa Zabalaga The 23-year-old goalkeeper is yet to sign a new deal with Athletic Bilbao and is rumored to be close to agreeing a move to Real Madrid for 20 meters. Getty Images. 
4650ths Quadwoasimo of the five-time Serie A winner is capable of playing in a variety of positions and would certainly be a valuable squad player for top sides in Europe. AFP, Getty Images 4750ths Mark Uth The 26-year-old striker has been in excellent form for Hoffenheim this season, scoring 12 goals in all competitions. Bungarts, Getty Images. 4850ths Pedro Leon injured since the summer. The experienced right winger would be a gamble with such little game time in the past year. If he can prove his fitness, the winger is capable of creating chances from wide areas. With six assists last season in La Liga, AFP, Getty Images, 4950ths Sergio Canales The Spanish playmaker is yet to agree a new contract and has proven, when fit, that he is capable of playing at the top level. AFP, Getty Images, 5050s Alaco Junizivic The word or Bremen creative midfielder has assisted 49 in 182 appearances scoring 20 goals in the process. Bungart's Getty Images It's very difficult, if not impossible, to think of examples that even come any way close to either. And it's why most comments about a competitor's business should be met with a roll of the eyes, rather than rolling around any meaningful debate about their actual words. Klopp's words about the Paul Pogba signing have been exposed as empty. But then Mourinho isnt exactly in the strongest position to comment. He will willingly talk about other clubs' transfers, all the while privately pushing for his own to spend as much as they can. In any case, the real point of such comments is to protect any manager's own position, for them to be able to put any success down to their own inherent abilities, and any failures down to external factors. They all do it, and it's something hardly restricted to football managers. Although the very demanding nature of the job probably requires those more prone to such tunnel vision, the exact position of the market is probably the more interest aspect in any of this. For all that managers will look to pin it down to any one transfer. 2. The true primary contributory factor is the money behind that factor. In this case, it is the vast quantities of broadcasting money flowing and flowing into the Premier League. Van Dyke is the world's most expensive defender. Twitter at LFC. What else was going to happen with those kind of figures? Fees like 75 meters for a center half are a natural consequence. As Pep Guardiola argued, 50 meters for John Stones now looks rather cheap. And what of 30 meters for Rio Ferdinand as long ago as 2002? Real Madrid president Florentino Perez even recently told one Premier League chairman that we're probably in the world of a 100 meters goalkeeper. There's money in the market so it will just keep going up and up and up until something breaks and the latter doesn't look like happening anytime soon. This is why foreign leagues look on England in the way that English-faced managers look on each other, and how they're all begin to look at Paris Saint-Germain. Their sensational signing of Neymar was just another factor in this, even if most Premier League clubs still view it as a freak. It did generally push up prices due to the extra money just being in the market and needing to go somewhere, for example. Barcelona still potentially using it to buy Philippe Coutinho, but the reality is that the English market did and he need it to keep on pushing it at quite this pace. Another reality, however, is that managers probably do need to make those comments to push the market further in their own favor. These aren't just barbs for rivals, after all, but also messages to their own boards. That is something that will never change, no matter what happens to the market.